Welcome to Fusion 360. Let's start by coming up here to the top left and clicking on Create Sketch. Now it's going to bring up three planes, as you can see, as well as three axes. If we come down here to where it says Free Orbit, we can click on it and we can use this tool to rotate about the center. And you can see this little sphere here in the middle this is the origin. What we're going to do is click on this bottom plane and that's going to create a sketch for us. And so we are now inside a sketch. So we're inside a sketch and you can see the origin is visible. And all of the tools on this toolbar have now changed. We have the line tool, the two point rectangle tool, the center circle and others. We're going to click on Center Diameter Circle and we're going to come over and click on this origin point. And if we move our mouse, you're going to see that it engenders this circle. So we can click down to create that circle. And I can also use this tool, which is different than the other sketch dimension. Click on the circle. And if I click down again, I can type in a value and hit Enter. So now I have a three diameter circle. And you can change your units by coming over here, top left, and changing the units here. So what we wanna do now is we're gonna finish the sketch. So now we're outside the sketch and we can just see the sketch from far away. We're going to come to extrude. We're going to rotate about again. And what I can do is if I hit escape, I can click on this arrow and I can just drag it wherever I want. I could drag it up or down. I'm gonna just drag it up. I'm just gonna hit OK right here. And you're gonna see that it creates a cylinder. We basically just extended that circle. So the circle was a sketch and this cylinder, this extrusion, it's a feature. We now have a solid body. I can come over here to the top left and this is a physical body. You can see that body one comes up under the body's folder here in the feature manager tree. I can also come over to where it says origin. I can click on it and I can see um, three planes. And if I click on this little icon for the eyeball, uh, they'll all come up. So we can see that here, these three planes. And I wanna create another sketch now. So I'm going to select a different plane I'm going to select this YZ plane, which is this one here on the left. So create sketch. Now I'm inside that sketch. And while we're in here, let's add some geometry. Let's add a rectangle, two point rectangle. You can find all of these features here under this tab. You don't even have to click on them here. I'm gonna click down and drag out this rectangle. And I also wanna come back to create and just choose a, another shape. This time, let's choose a polygon. I'm gonna click down and drag this out. So now we have these two shapes here. And um, as you could see, it's a little bit of a light blue on the insides of these shapes. The reason why that color comes up is because these are closed profiles. These are closed shapes. So I'm going to hit Finish Sketch. I could choose it here but um, the operation we want to cut. So we're going to select um, these sketches. Now I could select them here inside the view window. And hit OK once we type in a value. Let's give it a, a uh, value of five inches. It's gonna cut through five inches. Now we created this sketch on this plane, the YZ plane. So it makes sense that it only cut through half of the extrusion. What we have to do to fix this, if we want to cut through all the way, is we have to edit the feature. So we're going to come down here, and th this on the bottom is called the timeline, and it shows the sketches, the features, everything you do is cataloged here in order of doing it. So we're going to click on this feature, right click and edit feature. Um, you can't see the window because it, it's under my screen, but you have to right click and click on edit feature. And then instead of making this one sided for the direction of the cut, we're just gonna make it symmetric. 
and you can see that it's cutting all the way through and it gives you a nice preview of what it's going to do. What we want to do now is add another type of solid body that isn't just a bunch of straight cuts like the extrude tool. So we're going to come up here and we're going to come to our planes and we're going to select this YZ plane and let's create a sketch just as before. Now this time I'm going to choose a line command and I'm going to create a line from the origin coming up and I'm just going to place it like that and hit escape and I'm going to click on now create come down to our arc and click on three point arc and so I'm going to click on this top point drag it out and you can see that you can change the curve just by moving your mouse so let's place it to look something like this and I can take out a couple more of these just always clicking on the last point of the sketch and so there's a lot of control here that I have I can really make it do a lot of things and I'm going to create another arc escape and now I could take this point and I can move it around and I want to add now from here a line click on the line command drag out drag over and let we can reattach this point to be like this so now I actually created a closed shape so if I went a little bit too fast what I did was I started at the origin I went up with a straight line I created a bunch of three-point arcs which are connected to each other and then added a couple more straight lines and then came back to the origin so I did one full loop and so now we have this shape and what we can do with this shape instead of just extruding it forward we can choose to create a revolve so I'm gonna click on revolve and I'm going to click on this profile that's the first thing it wants us to choose and for the axis I'm going to click on select axis and I'm going to click on this uh, line that I made and you can see that it rotates it around that line now we could also have chosen one of the axes if you remember we could choose one of the axes to rotate around but we're going to choose the line that we made and we want this operation to be an, a new body and so we're going to hit OK let's come over here to the shell command and we're going to click on it and what we want to do is we want to select this bottom circular face now it's time to kick it up a notch we're going to come over here to the XZ plane and we're going to create a sketch on this plane create sketch and I'm going to create a circle starting on the origin and I'm going to drag that circle out and hit finish sketch and now I'm going to come over to where it says here offset plane click on it and I'm going to again select the XC plane and I can click and drag this arrow to drag up another plane that I just made so instead of just the origin planes that we're used to these three we just made a new plane offset by a certain distance from the original planes so I'm going to click on this plane create a sketch on it and I'm going to come down to create I'm going to come down to polygon and I'm going to click on circumscribed polygon I'm going to click on the center point and drag this out and now I'm going to click on finish sketch and so we're going to come over here on to the create and click on loft I'm going to select this circle as the first profile and I'm going to select this polygon as the second and operation we're going to make a join and hit OK so what we did is we had two shapes and we just created this surface between them between those two shapes and so I can change that sketch I can edit the sketch coming down here on the timeline you can right click and edit the sketch and I can move the sketch around and manipulate it and the model will update based on those changes 
So there are all kinds of things I can kind of do within that manipulation. And you can see that there are all of these different results that I can generate from it. So this is where we're going to stop for now. And follow me on to the next tutorial. We're going to talk more about lofting and the power that it gives you.